What's up everybody? We're back with another lead detection here in Atlanta and this morning I've got another tip for you guys. So every now and then we have a job where we're performing a lead detection on a swimming pool just like this where it's clearly older. Uh, a couple of indicators of that are this older intricate tile just like this. We really don't see that on new pools anymore. On the deep end you're typically going to have two return lines uh, that are only an inch big right next to each other and then we've got main drains that are within two feet of each other. Uh, so we've got an indicator, a lot of indicators that this pool was originally built probably in the 70s, 80s. Uh, and what we see a lot of times with pools that are this old is that they're gonna be covered with Apache paint. So that's what we found this morning is obviously we've got an old pool that when it was time to be resurfaced, it's been a Apache painted with this blue paint, uh, which while it looks okay, the, the real problem is that when a pool needs to be resurfaced, uh, what typically needs to happen is around every different material, so around your PVC plumbing lines, your lights, uh, your skimmer throats, your main drain, where there's concrete and other materials coming together, when it's time for that pole to be resurfaced after say 20 years, all those areas are supposed to be chiseled out and hydraulic cement supposed to be redone. But we see what we see happen all the time is that instead of uh, the hydraulic cement being redone, we just have a pool that gets painted just like this one. Uh, so if you ever are performing elite detection or if you have an older pool similar to this, if your pool is losing water, what you want to look for is two materials that might be separating from each other, like your PVC lines or your drain separating from the concrete structure of your swimming pool, uh, because that's exactly what we found uh, with this pool today. So again, if you ever see a pool that's got blue epoxy paint or any kind of epoxy paint like this, one of the first things you're going to want to look for is any kind of separation around these two different materials. Uh, so what I'll do now is I'm going to get my GoPro video and I'm going to show you guys exactly what we found and you'll see where this pool was leaking a ton right around this drain right here.